Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can match two PDFs into a single document. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to create uh, two separate uh, documents, PDF documents, and then match them together to create a single document. So I'll create the document, the PDF documents uh, in Canva and then uh, save them separately. And then I will show you how you match them. If you're new here, my name is Steve from stevingency.com. I create videos every week so that you can learn something new, something that you can use on your daily life, and also something that can help you make some extra income if you want to do that. If you haven't done yet, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. I hope you learned something from this and um, let's get into it. As you can see, I'm on Canva homepage. Uh, so if you don't have an account with Canva, just go to canva.com and then you'll be able to uh, sign up for free account there and you can come on to this page if you want to try canva for pro i'll also leave a link down below also that you can try that for 30 days and see if it's something that you will be able to um to enjoy or want to keep forever and if you don't want to use the canva for pro you can still use your free account uh, as you can see, um, what are you going to do? PDF. I've got PDF that I created last week. Um, in uh, last week's video, I showed you how you can uh, create a journal and then put that journal into a KDP and sell it there to earn some extra income. That's the video for last week. I'll put the link up here or the card up here so you can uh, be able to watch that video. And the video before that, also I showed you how you can create a journal in three different ways, three simple different ways that you can create a journal. Today's video, I'm going to show you how you can then match those two documents into one. So with Canva, you can only create up to 100 pages. Uh, as you can see in this uh, um, PDF here, this is the journal that I did uh, in the previous videos. So we've got up to 100 pages, we can't do more than 100 pages. That's why today we're going to um, save this document and then create the second part of the, um, the PDF to make up to 120 pages. And then you can match them together to create a journal or a, a book or a document up to 120 pages. So let's get into that. So as you can see, this is a general idea, as I said, and these are up to 100 pages. And then what I did just before, I uh, saved up to um, um, 80 pages at first. Uh, as you can see, they're all the same pages. This is low content uh, book, so they're all the same. The interior is the same, and only the only difference uh, is the first few pages, as you can see there, and then the last page, obviously, which is the, the cover. And the rest of the interior is the same. So I've saved 80 pages, and then from 80 pages, uh, uh, I needed uh, 40 pages to make it 120 pages. So that's what I did uh, just before. Um, I'll go back to uh, so that. Um, <clears throat> And then let's save uh, this document into 40 pages. So what do you do? You come up here. I assume you've already created your journal and then you want to add extra pages to make it 120 pages or you want to create a daily journal uh, that would need up to maybe 165 or 365 pages or 367 pages if including the cover and the back and, and the back cover. So that's how you'll do this. You'll do it as well. So you'll save into three different or four different PDFs. Then you match them together. Uh, so I have um, done that already. I've saved 80 pages. And then um, and this is the 40 pages that I have um, uh, that I've saved. As you can see, I label them so that I can uh, be able to... Um, uh, to differentiate them. So then when you match them, you match them um, the, the 80 pages first and then the, the last page, just like the 40 pages, you're going to put them uh, after uh, the 81. So you can get the end of the book at the end of the, the PDF when you match them. Uh, you don't want to mess them up and put the, the end before that. Anyway, so let's do that. I'll show you now. Uh, so I'm going to save, you come here to save, and then you save as PDF print. Make sure you save it as, as PDF print uh, because you want high quality uh, printing because you'll be printing so many times. And then as you can see here, it's selected all the 100 pages, but what I'll do, I will come here and then uh, deselect uh, the last um, 20 pages uh, from this. Uh, so I will deselect um, the last 20 pages and I'll show when I, I'm done. As you can see, I've selected up to 80 pages and it will tell you here as well, pages from one to 80. 
and then that's it that's what we will uh, save or download now so i'm going to download that and it will save onto my desktop or into my downloads that's it done so we're done with that one and then now what i'm going to do i will um you can make uh you come into file and then go to uh, make copy there you make copy uh, so that you don't change anything in the first uh, one there so and this is what i've got here so with this i'm going to save uh, the 40 pages that are remaining so what i'll do i'm going to go to save and then uh, again i'm doing the same go to pdf print and then to the pages uh, i need to select the 40 pages so i'm going to um, uh, select from page uh, 61 and then uh, um, go all the way to the end of the uh, of the journal and after that I will show you how we match them so that's how simple it is so I'll do that I'll select the pages and then I'll be back okay I'm back now we've got uh, 41 uh, up to page 41 so we've got 40 pages in total all the way to the end and, and so as you can see it tells us the pages that we're going to download so I'm going to download now and then it will start doing its magic and then once um, it's done uh, we will match them together thanks for being here if you are still here i appreciate your support so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post a new video uh, let's get to this now the last stage of this is to match the uh, pdfs together so what we need to do is to go to a website called uh, smallpdf.com and just go to google and then uh, type uh, smallpdf.com and you'll be onto this page so it's a free uh, a site where you can match documents together you can from pdf to word you can do that uh, and then we're going to do this match pdfs together and you can do other different stuff as well and it's for free you you can uh, try that um, so this is the one i'll use there are some other ones that you can use as well but i prefer this one because i've used it before so what we're going to do now we're going to go to match pdf as you can see there this is where we're going to go i'll click on to that okay let's uh let's upload the, those uh, two documents the pdfs that we've got and then we will see how that works out so i'm gonna uh, go to uh, choose files and then from device you can wherever yours uh, your document is whether it's in google drive or um, dropbox or if you've got them already in your uh, small pdf uh, account and that's for a pro account anyway but i'll get them from my uh, device which is my computer i think i've got them on my desktop or downloads um there you go. I've just loaded them up so in a second they will start uh, matching so they will start uploading it might take a little while depending on uh, how much uh, graphics you've got on your on your document um, but usually it's quite quick Okay, here we are. As you can see now, they're all matched up. They're all uh, downloaded. So what you need to do now is to select uh, how you want to do it. So we're going to match the files. As you can see, match files, arrange and combine the entire PDF any way you like. Uh, if you've got a pro account, then you can um, also have the option to do that, to arrange and combine like individual pages. So that's the advanced uh, page. So what we'll do now, we're going to click on the match files and then uh, choosing this option as you can see these are the files that we have there so uh, we are going to match um, these two so let's do that and see the magic happens there we go it's doing that now uh, it's matching the entire document and then that's it so we can have a look at it as you can see it's 140 pages this is the important thing to look at so now we've got a, a journal that has got 140 pages if you are doing a, a, a full year journal you will have like a 365 or 67 including the two front and back page just and then you will have that so we, you can have a look at it before you actually download it and just to make sure you've got everything so it's still loading up because uh I've got some few graphics into that so that's it's why but otherwise we can download i'll just download now and then uh, i'll show you um, the end result it's done there we go so i'll open it up as you can see uh, there's our document our new document of 140 pages uh, that's the pdf um, the channel that we've created and then uh, once you've matched them together 
you're happy with everything, then we can go to KDP and then um, upload it into KDP, or you can do it onto your website. You can uh, put it into uh, Google Docs or um, wherever you like, and then get the link there. You upload into the website with the link so that people can uh, then have that uh, d delivered to their emails once they've purchased it. So this is it, guys. As you can see, I will just go. Just want to see a page that I think is uh, six, page 60 is the only page that is different. Oh, there is just page 59. And uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. It's the one that is uh, it's different. I just wanted to make sure it's, it's, come, it's come really, really nice. So it, it's, it's really good. So then let's go and look at the last page, which is our cover, the back cover. Yeah, it's all good. I'm happy with that. And then. Set. all right you guys as you can see now we have our journal that is all done we've matched the two documents together so it's easy as that so hopefully you'll be able to create your own uh, documents or your journal save them into pdfs and then match those two pdfs with um, uh, the tool in um, smallpdf.com and finally you get your own uh, uh, book that is over 100 pages and then you can uh, if you want to sell it uh, and get some extra income you can do that on Amazon KDP or wherever online that you are selling your stuff Alrighty, if you've got any questions please uh, don't hesitate to ask me uh, again as I said I'll leave everything down below in the description box and uh, don't forget to uh, go back and watch those videos of how to create a, a journal and how you can create it and then put it on Amazon KDP. The steps that I ran in my last videos, I'll put the cards up here as well. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. I hope um, you've enjoyed this, guys, and I appreciate you being here till the end. Thank you, guys, and I'll catch you soon. Bye. Bye.